Mark at Colbert Speedy Recovery Finish Network. The video you guys have all probably been waiting for a new spray gun review. We got the Harbor Freight $25 green gun with us today. So far, so yet, I have yet to see a solid review on this gun um, using base coat, clear coat system. So I wanted to go ahead and do a really good solid review for you guys. We got multiple things we're going to be spraying today. We have the Toyota Highlander. We're going to be spraying the rocker panels right under there. They were just kind of real rough, chipped up a little bit of rust. We went and fixed those up. We got a headlight restoration so you guys can see just how well this thing puts out clear. And we got an old Honda Civic Fender. I went ahead and digged out of my parts pile. This actually is freshly repainted, but I actually ended up never doing anything with it. So we're going to go ahead and put some paint on that today. The Highlander, we're just sticking with the OEM color. That is a 65 Oasis uh, green metallic. And the Fender, ironically, they actually sent me the wrong paint. They sent me 6P5. So they said, all right, man, just go ahead, just scrap that paint. Don't even worry about it. Just keep it, use it for something else. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to be applying two different colors of base today. Clear coat, primer, sealer, everything in one video, guys. Exactly what you want. Anyways, that's enough talking. Let's load up the gun. Let's get to spraying. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to unbox the gun. One thing you're going to notice about these cheaper Harbor Freight guns is they're manufactured with oil. So you're going to want to go ahead, take the gun apart, go ahead, put all the pieces in a cup and fill it up with solvent. And you're going to notice um, the parts are actually very dirty. You can see the bottom of the cup there. Now to get your fluid wide open, you're going to want to screw the nozzle all the way out, pull your trigger, screw it in until it's tight. We are going to be running a PPS adapter today. Luckily, the one for my Iwata W400 fit just fine. Go ahead, set up a piece of paper, and adjust your spray pattern before spraying your panel.
think it is a decent gun. I do like it. However, it was very, very hard to get a consistent pattern spraying. A good spray gun, you set it to wide open on the fluid, you set it to wide open on the fan, and then go back about a quarter to a half a turn, you clean it out, you're ready to go. There is no further adjusting. However, I find with these cheaper spray guns, you really got to play with them uh, to get it right. Not only do you have to play with the spray gun itself, you have to play with how you're reducing your materials to get the material to atomize properly as well. Notice what they put right on the box. Suitable for low viscosity paints. There's a reason why they put that on the label. Because let me tell you something, I went ahead and I reduced my paint one to one like I normally do, wasn't happening. Those of you guys out there that spray uh, PPG and then also the PPG JB, which has got a lot more pigment and a little bit more thickness to it, this gun had a lot of problems breaking up that binder, breaking up that, that material pretty well. So I had to over reduce my base coat to make it lay a little bit better. Where's the uh, SMR 1150 Speedo Coat Clear? I mean, this stuff did the job as usual. Super high gloss finish, super smooth, dried really quick, and we were spraying with the door open 40 degrees outside. It's the only clear coat that this gun will actually work well with is low solids clear. If you're trying to like restore an older car, you think you're gonna put some high solids, show quality clear coat through this gun, and it's gonna atomize and lay out good, you are in for a seriously rough problem. You're going to get a lot of orange peel. The pre you're just going to notice the paint is physically not going to break up. However, for those of you guys out there that are doing like really small touch-up jobs, motorcycles, bumper jobs, things like that, you're using lower solids material, lower solids clear coat. This gun, honestly, it did perform pretty solid. Now, I know you guys see some project cars behind me. You guys are probably going to ask, well, could you paint a whole car with it? Yes, if you're like I said, if you're using low solids, clear coat, low solids materials, I do think you could comfortably paint an entire car with it. You're not going to get show quality results, but it's definitely, definitely doable. The only other complaint I think I have about the gun is the machining quality. It's really not that. I mean, it looks cool. Don't be wrong. I love the green. But the machining quality is just not there. Um, you take this gun apart about 10 to 20 times. That plastic threading for the fluid nozzle adjuster on the back is going to strip out. And then once that strips, I mean, you're pretty much screwed. There's no way you can adjust your fluid. It's just going to fall apart. And they're like, going to say, oh, well, Harbor Freight offers the one year replacement plan. Well, that's great. But if you're in the middle of a paint job and that fluid uh, adjuster, uh, you know, thread, collapses you're screwed you're not painting the rest of your car so i'm gonna wrap it up with this for those of you diy guys that are only painted a couple times a year maybe you want to paint a full car or you just want to just kind of just get into painting and learn how to paint awesome gun 25 bucks go and buy it if you're a professional painter like me you're in here every week in and out painting every day every other day not gonna work it's just not the durability of this gun it's just it's simply not gonna last it is slightly better than the the purple gun but it's just simply not gonna last anyways that wraps it up for this one guys like subscribe new videos every week